The Data Editor presents your product data in a format similar to a spreadsheet. At the top of the page, your data is organized into categories. Click to select any row in the category window, and the corresponding data will be shown in the data sheet at the bottom. The data sheet is highly customizable. Each category can have the same or a different number of columns. You can change the width or position of the columns. Every category can have different column headers if required. Change these on the category editor form. Double click any cell in the data sheet to edit it. Click anywhere outside the cell to save the changes. Drag and drop rows to change the printing order. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click to select multiple rows or hold down the control key to select specific rows. You can even copy and paste data between a spreadsheet and the data sheet by changing the block mode to cells. Change product images by double clicking the cell in any photo column. This will open the photo selection window. Double click any existing image or click one and then click the select button to change the product image. To upload new images, click the add files button. This will open a new window where you can select images from your own computer to upload to the server. If you click any cell in a photo column, the image recorded in that cell will show in the preview window. If you click a cell which is not in a photo column, the primary photo for that row will be displayed instead. Click the PDF button at any time to create a PDF file in a new browser window. This PDF will show your changes to the current category only. To print multiple categories, click the Print button to open the printing menu. The leftmost column of checkboxes is used to select which products will be printed. Use the Master checkbox at the top of the column to select or unselect all the rows and use the individual checkboxes to choose which rows will be printed. If you imported your product data from a CSV file, you may be ready to continue on to selecting or designing a template. Optionally, you can enter your product data directly on this form. For example, a common addition is a cover page. Begin by clicking the New button in the Category window. Next, insert as many rows into the datasheet as the category needs. For a cover page, this will normally be a single record. If a column does not already have a header name, you can change it on this form by clicking the empty space. Otherwise, change column headers on the Category Editor form. Enter your product data as required, and then double-click the cell in the Template column of the Category window to select an existing template. To create a new template, leave the selection blank and then click the Template Editor button. In the Category window, the Delete button deletes the selected categories and all data in those categories. Many users will find the Empty button is convenient for updating their database. Empty will delete all the data from the selected categories, will leave the category itself and any customizations intact. A CSV file can then be imported into those existing categories, and a new catalog should be ready to print right away. The Select Records function provides an advanced method for selecting records for printing based on a range of criteria. The Copy and Move function allows you to move large numbers of records between categories. Some users will import all their data into a single category and then use a combination of the Select function and the Copy or Move function to organize their data. The Sort and Group function provides a simple method of sorting products or organizing related items into tables. In this example, each glove is available in a range of colors. If each of the related products contains some text which is common to every row, that column can be selected to group the data. In this example, the Photo 1 product or even the Description column could be used for this. Clicking a Group button changes the numbering in the Print and Suborder columns. 
Related products will share a common print order, and the suborder number will be sequential, indicating the print order within the table. This template shows how related products are now grouped in a table with a common photo. You can drag and drop rows to change the printing order within a group. To change the printing order of the groups themselves, hide the detail rows first so that only the first row of each group is shown. Now, when you drag and drop a row, the entire group will be moved. For more information on customizing the datasheet, view the Category Editor tutorial or video.